Hey guys, how are you? So this is my first live video. Um, so I just thought I would show people it's not quite as hard as you think it is to make a wreath. So um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using. So you need a wreath form. This I got from the dollar store. Um, I got this uh, ribbon from Walmart. And I believe this came from Dollar Tree. And then I have this ribbon that's also from Dollar Tree. And I bought my mesh um, from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's 10 inch mesh and I'm going to cut it in 10 inch squares. Um, I like to heat seal. Um, so I use a wood burner. Um, I do have a heat sealer. Um, but it's faster to use the wood burner. Um, but anyway, so we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how to make a wreath and what petals I'm going to use. Um, so to be, first of all, um, if you're going to heat seal, um, use a wood burner to um, do your mesh. You probably should wear a mask if you're inside because it actually is plastic burning. Um, but you will need a glass uh, top to be able to cut so that it doesn't burn through like your table or whatever. And I've got a little... Um, I've got a little ruler attached to mine. It's like, a, I think it's Pioneer Woman. I got it from Walmart. Um, I've seen people use like the shelves in a, out of a refrigerator, the glass or whatever. So whatever you need to use. Um, but if you don't have a wood burner, um, you can use um, a rotary cutter. Um, and then you would want to get you a self-healing mat. Um, this I got from, I think, um, Joann's or Michael's I believe but it's self-healing so it doesn't um, you know the rotary cutter doesn't tear it so um, you can cut it either way if you don't have a rotary cutter you can use scissors um, the best way is to make sure that you go in between the rows like this and stay in between a square um, that way you have less fraying um, I do get some of my um, mesh from the Dollar Tree. Um, so sometimes it's a little, if you notice it's it's wrapped really tight in a plastic, um, then it's going to be a little bit better mesh if, other than the loose kind because it will fray really bad. But the heat, the wood burner actually keeps it from fraying on you. And you may still have frays, um, but whatever you do, don't pull on them. Uh, it just makes it worse. So, um, if you like right here, I've got like a little fray. Um, so just go to where it's at and cut it and then cut it on the other end. That way it doesn't just keep fraying. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you uh, how we're going to do this. And so I'm, I go to the 10 inch mark because it's 10 inch. So I just go straight down the 10 inch and you burn it, which actually seals it so that it doesn't fray, but it's not a hundred percent doesn't fray it's just um it helps it from fraying so i'm going to show you this petal really quick um so this is um it's called a lolly petal um from unique in the creek lori is who does that um hey brody so anyways so um what you do is you have your seared edges which is your factory edges here mm -hmm and you keep it on the top left and then the bottom right. Um, my tattooed, um, the one on the inside of my arm is on my right hand. This is my left hand with my blessed tattoo. Um, but you wanna keep those two seared edges up here. And what you're gonna do is fold it in half and you're gonna line up your uh, mesh so that, um, you know, the best you can. It may not always line up exactly right, especially if you don't exactly have it at 10 inches. Um, and so for the lolly petal, you hold your peak and you pull, and then you kind of scrunch right here, and it kind of looks like a stingray. And then you want to pull this up and to the edge, and then you want to pull this one up and to the edge. And then it kind of, you get this little cup looking thing. So, um, you want to you want to pinch that together it's kind of gonna there's the back and there's the front um, if you get a chance go to the Dollar Tree and get these little tiny hair bands I think you get 500 of them for a dollar 25 
and it makes your life easy. So you just put that on there and you double it just to hold your petal. Then once you get it doubled, you kind of just spread your petal out um, and it kind of looks like a little spoon. And then, um, I don't know where my good scissors are. Uh, let's see. Um, you want to use certain scissors for ribbons, certain scissors for mesh. Um, but I just cut the ends of it off like right here. And um, that way you're going to get a clear little edge. Um, and tip is to get you a little basket or something to put your trash in. That way you don't end up with it all over your floor. And then um, if you use the metal frame um, from Dollar Tree, um, yeah, they're $1.25. They're a little harder to work with, especially if you have ever tried a unique in the creek, um, a unique in the creek board. Um, those are flat and they're plastic. Dollar Tree carries like a cheap version of it. Um, and they're not bad, um, but unique in the creek is very sturdy. The holes are already drilled and everything. So uh, it kind of makes it simple. So, um, if you use this kind of board, you have an open center. So if you wanted to put like your petals all the way through the center, you would have to get some of the, um, it, it's the plastic, it's got holes in it. I can't remember the name of it, but you can put it in there and you can zip tie it to the center. That way you can fill in your center also. Um, but for right now, we're just going to, we're going to skip the inside part and go to the second one. Um, and we're gonna put this on here, and then you're just gonna use your zip tie. Um, Dollar Tree sells these for a dollar. Gracie and Tate's um, has a, um, a bucket like this, which is local for us. Gracie and Tate's, she's awesome. That's where I've got most of my shelves. Um, yeah, they call me the shelf lady at Gracie and Tate's because I go there and I buy every shelf. But these are um, $9.99, and it has like, uh, all different colors in them and some of them are short some of them's big and then these taller ones is the the long ones um so you know if you're local in danville or madison of course you can um go to gracie and tate's awesome great company uh awesome people that run it um amanda and i think his name's seth i adore them um so but anyway so you're going to take your zip tie and you're going to make sure on your zip tie that the flat head faces up and then you're just going to put it in one side and come up the other I know my hands are in the way and then you kind of just put this in there now with the unique and the creek boards we can preload them and that way you're kind of ready to go um, I have this this is a um, zip tie cutter so you just it's got like a little hole right here and you put your zip tie in there and then when you squeeze it um, it tightens your zip tie up, and then when it's tight enough, it also cuts it. Um, so it's kind of handy. I think it's like $13 on Amazon. Um, I got my mom working on my um, my website. She's, I went in and, like, jacked it all up, and my mom's done amazing with it. So um, I will see if we can't get a link put on there that has, like, all my tools um, like my wood burner it came from Walmart. It's like 13 bucks um, So I try to keep stuff cheap that way I can sell my wreaths cheap um, But you put it on there and you pull it and then it cuts it off and you end up with a little piece And like I said get you a little bucket or something to put your um, Your uh, trash in and the less you handle your mesh the better off you are um because it, the more handling and the more rubbing and all that, like as far as putting it against your body or whatever, it causes it to fray. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut some more of these pieces. Um, so this is my first live, and I'm a little nervous about it. I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but um, if you know me, you know that I don't, talking's my thing. So, um, but you want to go at 10 inches. And what got me when I first started was I seen all these videos and all these people were cutting this mesh so perfectly straight and, you know, the boxes were even and I thought, how are they doing that? Um, and I, I know a lot of people says, well, I'm not that crafty, but it's really not that hard. Um, I did get blessed uh, 
you know, with the gift to be able to craft. And now that I'm a stay-at-home mom or nana, whatever you want to call me, um, I have a lot more time to spend crafting and taking care of my 10-year-old. Um, and I get to see my grandkids a little bit more than what I was seeing them because, um, you know, Cheryl's kids are always in sports and um, most all my kids, uh, well, all my kids have jobs and so their kids are always, you know, either in daycare or they go to their dads or their moms or whatever for the weekend. So, but now I'm a little bit more able to spend some time. Uh, I don't have to miss any ball games. So I'll say thank you to my husband. He's awesome. Um, he told me, you know, if you don't want to go back to work, you don't have to go back to work. So, you know, I got lucky in the husband department. But anyways, so we just keep cutting this. Um, and usually, like, from here on out, I'll make sure all of this is pre-cut before we get started. And I'll just save a couple um, pieces to show you the leaf. Um, there is all kinds of different leaves. Um, I like watching Monkey Creation, Monkey's Creation. Um, awesome. I love her. She's got this awesome accent, and she does some amazing work. Um, she has kits um, that you can buy that she sends you everything, like the ribbon, the center, um, everything that you need to make it. And then she does a tutorial um, and shows you exactly how to do it all. So I like her. I like Unique in the Creek. Um, so, but anyways, we're going to turn this into a triangle. And remember, leave your edge at the top and the other edge at the bottom. And then you're just going to fold it in half. Um, and you're going to get it as straight as possible. And um, let me see. Hold on a second. Let me grab that other little bucket. It's got these little clips in it. Um, well, here's some. So anyways, so you, if you want to, to make it a little bit easier till you learn the pedal, you can take like a little potato chip clip or a clothespin or whatever, and you clip it. That way it holds your ends together. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to turn it this way. Sorry, wrong way. You're going to take it this way, and you're going to pull the top of it a little bit, and you see it stretches it, and you're just going to pinch it, kind of pull it together. And like I said, it makes like a, um, a stingray. So then um, you're going to take, and I just hold it with this, and then I take my right hand and I pull that down even, and then I take this one and I pull it down even, and it kind of makes, like I said, a little spoon, and then, you know, switch hands if you need to, and then you're going to grab a, um, a little rubber band, oh, or flip it through the air, either one you want to do, um, and you're going to just close that, you know, just to where it doesn't come open and you can adjust your your pedal. So you're going to do this. And, and there's two little little holes. I don't know if you can see them right here. Um, but just kind of shape it a little bit. Push it down. And it makes like this, this spoon. And then, um, so I'm going to make a few of these. And I have a little bucket um, that I stick all my petals in and I just lay them down that way it's easier so once again we're gonna make sure the seared edges are the top left and bottom right and you're gonna bring it to a uh, corner to the corner to the other corner and you're gonna match up your edges as much as possible um, and then you're gonna pull and so you're gonna pinch this and just walk it across and so you got this little stingray looking thing and then you bring this you bring it up and down and then bring this one up and down and when you pull it together you're going to pinch it all and it's going to make this little spoon um and then i'm going to use my rubber band and we're going to just put it two or three times, however many you feel comfortable. Keep it away from your face because it, it will um, pop you in your face if it breaks. So there's my other petal. And before we go to add them on, I'll just cut off these little edges. Um, so, and just keep doing these leaves. And, and usually I will have them pre-cut and I will, um, you know, let you know, well, you have to have this many pieces and this many pieces. That way you can be ready. Uh, and I'll do it ahead of time. But um, like I said, my mom did get my webpage up. It's sincerecreation.com. 
Um, I added a link onto my Facebook page. Um, my email's on there. My phone number's on there. So if there's anything I can do or if you have any questions, you know, shoot me a message. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a little members forum in there to where if you need to chat or whatever, it comes directly to my phone. Um, and like I said, I no longer work. I'm at home, a stay-at-home mom now. So um, that's kind of awesome. So I can answer you. Doesn't mean I'm going to answer late at night. But, if, you know, if I'm up, I will. Um, my husband's on the two weeks night shift this week, the next two weeks. And so he doesn't come home until three o'clock in the morning and that kind of sucks. But, um, you know, when you have a hundred and some pound pit bull running around in your house, um, you really don't need an alarm system. <laughs> my, most of my kids won't even come in my house without cracking the door and be like, mom, put the dog up. So it's me and Jennifer and, and Antoine. And so... We are just fine and happy. Um, so then we're going to pinch it again. And then after this, I'm going to show you a, um, after I get these done, I'm going to show you uh, how to cut your ribbon. Um, I really, when I first started doing this, my next door neighbor uh, had made a witch wreath. And she, um, she babysatted my grandson. So I went over there a lot to go get them or whatever if I was off and got to go see them. And uh, so I went over there and she had this awesome witch that her and her daughter-in-law had made. And um, I was like, gosh, I wish I could do that. And she's like, it's not really hard. And so then she told me about the Dollar Tree. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I started buying the Dollar Mesh. And I thought, oh, wow, this is easy. And I didn't think it was too bad until um, I discovered Hobby Lobby and Michael's and uh, Joanne Fabrics and so then I started getting a little better quality mesh and I seen the difference um, but if you're just making your own wreath um, you know for your house or whatever you don't have to go all out I did find out yesterday they have a thing called craft outlet uh, it's craftoutlet.com and they have mesh um, it's pretty good mesh too and it's actually cheaper than going into Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and I think it's like five fifty for a, a ten inch roll of mesh, and um, they have the Unique in the Creek boards, or you can go to Unique in the Creek and buy them, um, and they're pretty great. I, I really like those boards because it already has like preloaded holes or pre uh, cut holes, and then you can load them ahead of time, uh, so it's a little bit easier than a wire frame. But some people doesn't like it um which is fine i love them um so like i said unique in the creek uh crafters outlet and monkey's creation um i watch her every day that she's on like i absolutely love her um so um anyway so we got our pedal and like once again this is called the dean michael pedal um there's a whole bunch of different pedals you can do um and people are always coming up with new pedals, like, almost every day. So, um, you know, I, I'll be more than happy to show you guys or if you want to find a pedal or whatever. Um, I'm trying to get a shop open. Not sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to find a local shop that's already open and maybe just put my stuff in there. Um, me and my mom's kind of teaming up. My mom makes the cutest uh animals hang on let me show you so my mom makes she crochets animals and like here's the little giraffe I, I don't think you can see all of him but i have a bunch of them um but he's just a little giraffe and like she crocheted this like she does an amazing job um she's got dragons she has um she makes uh, house shoes, she makes um, sweaters, she makes all kinds of stuff like crochet and she, she can sew, but she doesn't like to sew, but she loves to crochet. And um, so me and her is kind of teaming up and then I have my oldest daughter, um, she makes rugs. Uh, I have a, a, few, a rug here, I'll grab it in just a second and show you. Like she is so talented uh, and then I have other daughters. Uh, my daughter, April, she makes uh, UV resin, and I think she makes cups, too. 
Um, and then uh, Alicia, a lot of times she'll come by and she helps me with my resin stuff. Um, she's pretty handy at that. Um, she um, She's always coming over and me and her uh, will work on t-shirts or... And then like yesterday, Lana came by and we worked on some stickers. Um, so all my kids, uh, Hope, Hope is... Um, Hope is a breed of her own. That kid has a heart the size of Texas, and she would do anything for anybody. Like, really. She works two jobs. She goes to school. My boys, um, I, I kind of left out in the kid department. Uh, my kids are awesome. I have six biological and six uh, adopted. Um, my, I have a daughter that lives in Maryland. I don't get to see her very often. Uh, but she did come in like right before Christmas and I got to see her and Peyton and um, and Ashley and I think Ashley's gonna come stay a few days with me. I'm ex super excited about that um, So but with my shop um, My website or whatever uh, You'll probably see stuff. I think Cheryl's website is Tufts and stuff um, I think that's the name of it and she makes rugs custom-made rugs um, I don't think April has like a name for hers. I think she just does it because she's a nurse. So um, she's kind of, you know, always working or busy or whatever. But I know she makes them. I've seen um, some of the stuff she's done and it's amazing. Um, so, but anyways, um, we do t-shirts. We do stickers. We do ribbon. We do wreaths and crocheted items, afghans, quilts. I love to make quilts, um, which I've been working on the same quilt since my dad, before my dad passed away. I was working on a quilt. Um, my stepmom gave me all of my dad's t-shirts and this was long before he passed away and she'd been saving them for me. And so I started it, um, back then when he was still alive and I've just never finished it. So I really, now that I'm not working, that's one of the things I'm going to focus on is getting my sewing machine back out and working on my um, my quilt uh, out of my dad's t-shirts. Um, I'm a daddy's girl. Um, so, you know, that's been kind of hard. And I know a lot of my friends that I made at Kroger's, you know, Stacy, Angela, a lot of us lost our dad, Gerala. A lot of us lost our dads, and uh, like within the last year. And I'm a firm believer that God puts us in places that we need to be. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe that's why I was there. But I have a friend that worked there, and um, like he reminded me so much of my dad. And um, I just thought the world of him. Like he was awesome. Um, so, anyways, um, I think maybe, you know, being a daddy's girl and. Um, losing my dad I think that you know maybe that's why I was at Kroger's for eight nine months or whatever um to you know so that we could all kind of help each other because we've all you know cried together me and Angela me and Stacy um you know Gerala Barb you know everybody has a hard time when you lose your parents some of us um deal with it better than others <laughs> but anyways so here's my last little um, Dean Michael, or I'm sorry, this isn't the Dean Michael. This is the lolly pedal. I don't know what I was talking about. But, so, I'm going to bring my wreath frame back over. And hopefully, within the next day or so, my uh, Unique in the Creek board should come in. And I can show you guys on there. Oh, I forgot. we got to cut this little piece off. Um, I'm going to cut that off. And... Then we just go, you're going to go up the top and through the, the bottom. That way you're on both sides of the wire. Um, this is, I'm not used to these wire wreaths anymore. I've been a little spoiled using the Unique in the Creek wreaths. Um, but I have some needle nose and I just pull. That way, if not, your hands get a little sore. And um, you can cut them off as you go if you want or... Um, you can wait and just cut them off together, um, whichever one you prefer, that's your option. Um, 
So I try to put three petals per section. I think this board has, or this um, wreath frame has six sections. Let me check, make sure. So we're just gonna skin this out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you do three petals in each section, six times three is 18. I hope that's, I went to Scott, so we won't guarantee that. But so anyways, um, so if you do three in each thing, you would need 18 petals. Um, and you're just gonna add, keep adding them, keep going around, stay on the second bar from the inside. Um, you can start from wherever you want to. Um, let's see, there we go. And then you just kind of adjust it once you get it into place. And, and you just keep going. Um, I'm gonna try to hurry up and get these placed. I don't mean for my first video to be 900 years long, but I was a little nervous. wasn't sure if I was gonna do it. I just talked to my mom about it, and I was like, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I kind of feel crazy. Um, so it's a little awkward, I think, doing your first video. Maybe I see these people on YouTube and they do a good job and they act like, you know, hey, they're really interacting. And uh, so um, I, I just think maybe it gets easier the more you do. So once again, you want to make sure you go under the wire and over top of the wire on the second row. And then you just slip your zip tie till you hear it click. And then I use my needle nose to tighten it up. And then you just adjust them as you go. And the less you touch it, the um, the better off you'll be. It doesn't fray quite as much. But this, I believe, is um, this is a better mesh. Um, so it's not too bad to fray, especially if you use the um, heat sealer or the um, the wood burner. Like, I, I love my wood burner. I used to cut it with a rotary cutter, and then I went and got a wood burner, and I was like, oh, wow, this is so easy. Like, it's, and you can keep your lines straighter that way. So, um, if you're, if you're going to make, me, uh, make wreaths to sell, and you're going to do quite a bit of them, then I would definitely suggest getting you a wood burner or an impulse sealer. Um, I have an impulse sealer, um, and it's okay. Um, just some is harder to, to um, I want to say cut, but I guess burn in half or the pieces, and it's not quite as accurate as a wreath or a wood burner because the wood burner, I use a, um, a, a chiseled tip on it, and it comes with several different kinds, but I will say be careful. Um, that's big ouchie is from um, a, a wood burner so just pay attention when you're messing with it so you don't make sure you're supposed to wear a um, a, a mask uh, when you cut because it is plastic burning it is hazardous to your health um, they suggest that you do them outside uh, or have be in a well ventilated place um, or have your fan on or something uh, and you're not supposed to do it around your animals because it can make your animals sick too so um, my dog I'd say is probably piled up in the bed somewhere and my kid I guess she's getting ready for bed so um, I do wood burn inside my house and I, as you can tell I don't wear a mask but you should um, highly recommend you wearing a, a, a mask to cut your to wood burn your petals so but if you see this is kind of simple everybody I was very intimidated when I first started uh, and the first few I did now that I go back and look at them I'm like hmm those were they weren't that great um, but the more you make the better you get at it um, I still have a lot to learn but I absolutely love doing this like love it it's it's just so relaxing to me I love it so I think I may be short a couple 
petals. I may have to cut a couple more. Um, let's see. Let me see what I've got here. And I took all of my, like, my zip ties and I placed them in, like, this little container I got from Dollar Tree. And, like, my rubber bands, my little uh, rubber bands that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, and I kind of just, as you can see, put them in there. And then here's my zip ties and stuff. So, you know, a lot of stuff you can get, you can get from Dollar Tree. Um, and, of course, it's no longer a dollar. It's a dollar twenty-five, but it's well worth it. Um because it helps you be organized and I have a little OCD so it definitely helps me um, but so you just want to get what it is if you're if you're just trying to make a wreath or make one for a family member or, you know you're not trying to make a, a business or a, nothing like that so you don't have to go out and run and get stuff I mean you can use your scissors you can use a lot of different stuff that you probably have at the house. Um, I did learn from Lori uh, in Unique in the Creek uh, how to do felt petals. Um, and it turned out really good. I made my granddaughter one for, well, I made both my granddaughters one um, for their birthday. One of them was born at the beginning and one of them was born in the middle of uh, March. And I made both of them a wreath for their 10th birthday. And, um, they're felt, and they seem to like them. Let me see how many. Uh, let me see how many more petals I need. Three, four. I need four. Okay. So I just find my ten inch mark, and I just follow this down. Sometimes it curves like an S, but as long as you stay in that same box, you're cutting it correctly. It just seems like it's not going straight. Um, but like I said, this, this wood burner is miraculous. I love it. Um, I mean, for 13 bucks, and uh, me and Chris went, we went to somewhere this past weekend, and um, I was looking for wood tips, and uh, wood burning tips, and the tips are $6.99. So it would almost have benefited just to go ahead and pay 12 something for the actual wood burner and just get another wood burner and get the tips again. But, you know, he said no. So we just really just got the tips and I put a new tip on it because I've made quite a few. And they last forever. It's not a big deal. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold these petals again. Like I said, corner to corner, um, make a triangle. And then you want to pull this up and scrunch, walk it over to the other side, and it becomes like a stingray or whatever you want to call it. And you pull the top petal up, you go up and down, and then you have this thing, and so you're going to grab it with whatever handed you are and grab you a little band um, and put around it. And then once you get it around it, you can adjust the petal to whatever it needs to be. Um, so you just kind of spread it out there's one so there's two so I got two more to do after this one and in you my videos won't be as long the next time I will have my mesh pre-cut um, I'll save a few pieces um, to make the pedal that way you you know the pedal um, but like I said my mom has worked really hard on my website today uh, so it is up and running. It's accepting payments. Um, if you want a wreath um, and it's not, there's not one on there that you like that I've already made, you can always um, shoot me a message and say, hey, I want this color uh, or this theme or whatever, and I will, you know, do whatever it is that you need me to do. Um, and usually uh, if I get a wreath order, I can have it out within... A one business day I can have the wreath done so I can get it mailed I will tell you right now that um, it is not cheap to ship stuff right now um, I had a friend of mine who lives in North Carolina um, and I was gonna mail her a wreath um, very dear friend of mine and um, it was gonna cost me $83 to ship a wreath to uh, North Carolina so um, we decided not to, 
Um, sometimes she comes to West Virginia, so whenever she comes in, she's just going to give me a yell, and, you know, I'll get her. Um, but there's supposed to be, and I learned this from Michelle and, um, in, in Monkey's Creation, that they have a flat rate shipping, um, and you can do it online. So my mom went in and put that in on my website. So hopefully, um, you know, if somebody wants something, it would be a flat rate of $20, and I usually only charge $40 for my wreaths. Um, but if it's like a bigger wreath, um, I will, you know, be it'll be $45. But I try not to charge more than $40 because, you know, I want everybody to be able to enjoy the wreaths. Um, so, and I really love my wreaths. And before I get off here, I will um, show you my room. It has a, a whole bunch of wreaths in it. Um, so, but anyways, let's go back to getting these petals put on. Um, and if you don't mind, um, go to my website and subscribe. It just sends you like emails or whatever. Um, and then, um, I don't know if there's a subscribe on the video. If not, I'll have to have mom work on that because I'm, I'm like, not very good at website making uh, but my mom's pretty awesome at it so um, so but like I said my mom is going to be adding pictures to it for the next day or two um, she's gonna add her little animals her um, crocheted animals and she has a lot of Afghans and like doilies and stuff that she crochets that she does such a great job like I absolutely love the stuff she does um, so she's, she's pretty talented, so I guess my talent comes naturally, maybe, but she's way more talented than me, and, like, my grandmother was way more talented than, than me. My grandmother, um, like, could do anything. At least I thought she did. Maybe she don't, but I thought that. Um, she made quilts. She sold them. She used to teach a sewing class down in Madison, like, I think it was on Main Street years ago, um, so she was really good at it too. So I guess my mom learned to sew and stuff from her, but my mom does not like to sew. She doesn't like it. Um, so anyways, we're gonna get out the, like I said, this is a, um, mm -hmm, a zip tie gun. So you just put it on there and you, I don't know, let me try it on the white one and see if you can see better. So there's like a little slit in there. You just put it there. Well, first I gotta turn it the right direction. So you put it on the, the thing and you just pull it. And sometimes it does it on the first, sometimes it's two, um, and it just tightens it up. And it makes it super easy. Um, if you don't have that, you can always use a pair of scissors. Um, I think wire cutters maybe is what they're called. Um, I have some of those. Um, I sold them out of my husband's toolbox, so if you don't have any uh, and you have a husband or a boyfriend or wife or whatever, they have a toolbox, they probably have wire cutters. So just steal those. Like, don't steal them, but just borrow them. So anyways, so now that this is done, of course you can tell that you have nothing in the middle and you have a lot of open space. Um, so... Let me clean this off. I got a flower, a U pin in that. I'm gonna set this aside. I'll just scrape this in my little bucket here. So another um, petal. If you want to, you can make more petals, um, like the lolly petal, and you can put them on the outside ring. Um, skip this, or do it on the third ring and leave the fourth one open. Um, I have a center, and I'm not done with it yet, so don't laugh. Um, so, I have this little gnome, um, and I got him from Dollar Tree, and he it used to say, be mine in the middle, so I popped that off, and I added this, and I'm going to put a Happy Mother's Day um, sticker on here, and then I mod podge over top of it so that the sticker stays on, but I, right now, for some reason, I'm obsessed with um, gnomes. So I'm a little a little crazy over my gnomes, but that's what I'm gonna put in the middle of mine and I um but I have to get the um the sticker made that says happy mother's day. But 
So I'm going to grab some green really quick. So this is um, the same kind of mesh, and we're just going to do a petal. Um, it's not a petal. It's, it's a, um, a leaf petal. And I really need a bigger table. Hint, hint, Chris, just so you know. <laughs> um, you know, I think he thinks I have enough tables, but I need one that's deeper or wider or whatever it's called. So you can actually cut these at um, 11 inches because you're going to want them to stick out just a little bit further than your flowers. So I'm just going a little bit over my 10 inch mark and I'm following it down. And for anybody that just joined, we're using a wood burner. I, I'm, I don't know if you can see the tip or not. Um, and it, it, this, the point of that is it keeps your mesh from fraying so bad. So you're going to do corner to corner just like we done that one. Um, and then you can either take the middle and fold it up like this. And I've got to get my thing moved. And then fold this at an angle. Okay, and then you can do this and you can scrunch it and it kind of looks like, um, you know, grass or leaves or whatever. And you can add that or we can do it this way and you can scrunch it up the middle completely like this and then you take it and twist it. I twisted it the wrong way. Twist it up and it kind of gives you the same thing but it's like a grass looking thing or this is the Dean Michael fold um, let me think here and uh, this is the Dean Michael pedal and why wow, have I just went completely blank hmm. anyways so you can do this and you can just roll it from corner to corner shape it like a diamond and just roll and fold it in half and then you kind of just squeeze this and it makes like really thin and you can put two sets together and it kind of makes it a little thicker. Um, I'm trying to find a, I've been doing a lot of the lolly petals. So for some odd reason, um, the Dean Michael has totally just went out of my mind. But so you, you, I'm gonna do it this way so you can, can you see better this way? Yeah. So here's your middle, um, and you're gonna line your ends up and see if you see, I have two little fray pieces, so you don't wanna pull them, just snip them. That way they don't go any further. Uh, not nothing massive, it's, it's no big deal. It's gonna, some of it just frays, whether you wood burn it or heat seal it or whatever, it just happens. So you're gonna do this, and then you're gonna find your middle, and you're gonna scrunch it up. And then you're gonna scrunch one, two, three times and then I'll turn it around and I'll scrunch one two three times so then um, you kind of cup it and like make sure your, your stuff's lined up and it looks you know like you want it to and if you pay close attention you're going to have your seared edges the factory edges all to one side and if you do that when you place them on the uh, board then all of your leaves, like the bad side, will go under the good side. Um, so you wanna just take this and wrap your rubber band around it twice, and then you wanna put your fingers underneath it and kinda spread it out. Um, and then if your ends come apart, it's no big deal. Just you know, go back and try to match it up as best as possible. It's not any kind of like deal-breaking thing. Um, and then, of course, you would take this and put it, I put mine on that third ring on the outside, and I just put my zip tie through, and I, next time on my video, I'll have my camera placed better. Um, and so you put it through one side and out the other, and you just pull it, and like I said, you can use needle nose, um, and it kinda helps you. And then you wanna take your thing and push it up, like this and then that way it kind of angles like a cup and then this will go over top of it let me cut off my zip tie there okay so then um, 
you'll be able to see this. So see, there's your there's your leaf, and you can do you know like two leaves right here, or you can do it all the way around, um, however you want to do it. Um, I'm trying to think if I have. I know I did one, but um, anyways, so it's um, you know you just you just cut your petals ten inches or eleven inches, and um, with this lolly petal, this D Michael fold. Um, this D. Michael petal actually comes out better. But like I said, if you just kind of push it outward um, and pull it back a little bit when you lay it down, it looks like it's kind of cupped. Um, so it turns out really pretty. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to hurry up and cut my green because I've been on here for a while and I don't... Yes, Sheena is the bomb. That's who does my nails in Madison. Like, she, I have pain on my hands, but she does an amazing job. Um, like, I have a, that's like a flower or whatever. She does an awesome job. Look, I, you can't beat Sheena. Um, so, anyways, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut my pieces. And like I said, if, in case you're just joining, make sure you have a glass um, thing because it will, it will melt your table. Um, if you just have a, a plain table or whatever. Um, I know some people crafts at their kitchen table, which is fine and dandy. Um, but I'm a little excited because since I'm not working no more, um, I kind of went in and organized my sewing room or craft room, whatever you want to call it. And so I have like set up four or five tables and then my sewing table. And so I actually have an awesome sewing room um and i have a lot of mesh and ribbon i have a whole tote like a big tote plumb full of ribbon and i've been trying to i seen this thing on um facebook and the lady took a curtain rod and hung it up on the wall and then she took her um ribbon and set it on there so it kind of organized it so I tried that and I got a few of them I got about five me and Chris put up five the other day before he went to work and it turned out so good like I love it and you can see what ribbon you have but like I said I still got a whole tote full so I still have to um, go back and add some more curtain rods which I have all of them I'm just haven't had a chance to do them yet um, but so my kids had that stomach virus for the last day or so. So she finally went back to school yesterday. Um, so she's feeling better. And if you see, I've got that little fray. So I'm just going to snip it off to where it doesn't go any further. And I went in and I pulled my leaf apart. I'm just going to set it to the side for right this minute. And we're going to do it again, corner to corner to make a triangle. Then we're going to pinch it in the middle. And we're going to scrunch one, two, three. Turn it around and scrunch one, two, three. And then you're going to put your tie on it, your little rubber band. You can use a, um, a, a clip or a clothespin, whatever it is that you, you know, if you'd rather do that, then use the rubber bands. That's, it's all at your discretion of what you want to use. Um, so anyways... So you, you kind of form your leaf a little bit. And if you see, um, my leaf kind of has like a, you can actually put them in like this, but I kind of like them better like this. Um, so I've already made one and then I just made those two. So I've got this one and, and two, one more to go. And then we'll put those on. Uh, and you can continue. Um, and I'm going to try to go live every day. I ain't going to swear I'm going to be able to. Um, but I really like this. Like, I could do this forever and never leave my house other than to go shop for mesh. Um, it's just me. <laughs> my kids say I have a shopping issue, but, um, if you're not counted as a hoarder if you're hoarding up, um, crafting supplies. At least that's what I say. But anyways, so you're just gonna, you know, cup your leaf again. And then, um, let's see, I'm trying to speed through this because you guys probably don't want to be on here all night, so it's okay. Two, 
two, three, and then one, two, three. Okay, so then you just, like I said, you go behind your leaf and uh, you spread it out and kind of give it like a cup shape. Um, and if you have any little phrase, like here's a little one right here, it's going to happen. Um, I don't think any mesh other than like if you use felt or something uh, will 100% not fray. I just think the more you handle it, the the more it gets. Hi, Miss Bertha. I have missed you. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. But, okay, so we're going to fold it into a triangle. And then we're just going to, in the middle from our point, go straight down. We're going to scrunch it. And then do one, two, three. Turn it and do one, two, three. And then we're gonna add a um, rubber band to close it off. And so, you know, if you wanna do it, like I said, with a clothes pin or however you wanna do it. Um, so then you just go in and you open your leaf up from the back, just spread it out a little bit and it makes this. So let me move this out of the way so we can put these on our wreath. Um, so if you, uh, like I said, we can go ahead and you can sporadically put these on there. Um, you just take them and go on the third, uh, wire around. So you got four, so you want to, and your, your pink and white petals is on the number two. So we're going to do these leaves on number three. And right now I'm just doing, uh, one leaf. Per section, there's six sections to these wreaths, the wreath forms. Um, I did get these from Dollar Tree. They're $1.25. Um, they have a, a lot of different kinds. They have, um, I lost my wire, my needle nose ones somewhere. I'll get it up. Okay. So they have a lot of different wreath forms. Um, Dollar Tree does. They, um, they have like um, hearts. They have infinity symbols, uh, stars, Easter egg, um, you know, all kinds of different shapes of it. Um, I have almost all of them. The only one I haven't found yet is the infinity symbol. Uh, but I do have like the breast cancer awareness. I have all of those. Um, and I was using them a lot. And then I found the unique in the creek boards. And um, so I kind of... I kind of like those a lot. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, uh, but not too bad. I mean, they're like, I think the small board is like $4.50 or four fifty five or something to that, to that effect. Um, so, I don't know, but um, I like those a lot better than the metal frames just because you can add a center and you don't have to go in and add the plastic in the middle of your wreath. Um, so, but a lot of people have more access to um, these uh, because of the Dollar Tree. And they usually always have the round ones. So, um, you know, you, you just about can say, hey, I'm going to Dollar Tree and I'm going to grab me some mesh. And they usually have mesh based on seasons um, and the holiday. So, I think right now... Um, we have, they have the Easter out. Um, I'm trying to remember what else I saw when I was in there. They have the Easter, they have the summer and the spring, but I didn't see any mesh um, at our local Dollar Tree that's in Madison. I didn't see any mesh, um, but I kind of am a, a Dollar Tree hopper. <laughs> so I go to the one in Logan, I go to the one at Southridge, um, if I go out to my dad's house to see my stepmom, um, we stop at the one in Barbersville. We stop at the one in Tays Valley. Um, they all have different stuff. Um, so, let's see. We got two, four, six. Okay. So, we have 
the six leaves I'm going to back up so you guys can see and I'm not done um, but I'm just I wanted to add your leaves on there um, if you wanted because um, you don't want to be able to see through your wreath um, and a lot of times with this this board this metal frame I add like foam to the back of it just cut out a piece of foam and um, hot glue it on there so that it can't do any damage to your door or to your clients door or you know whatever um, so but there's my leaves and, and, and my petals um, I'm definitely far from done because I actually need to add another layer of this pink and white and then um, like I said I've got this ribbon um, it's um, oh, this truck. Uh, when I was little, here's the story behind this truck. When I was little, my dad had a truck like this, and it was um, it was orange, like Chevy orange, and he thought the world of this truck. And uh, so, anytime I see this truck, I think of my dad. And I started this before my dad passed away, like being obsessed with this truck. Um, and I tried to, I guess, maybe make him obsessed with it because I bought him stuff like tins and all kinds of stuff. So. You know but anyways um, and so I love that truck um, so I'm gonna show you I have a Bodabra um, oh, okay so this is a Bodabra um, I think it was like 10 bucks at um, Michael's and it, it, it works really good because before I had no clue how to make a ribbon none whatsoever like I couldn't have made a bow to save my life and uh, so I learned how to do this on here, and now I can actually do them without this. But you want to find out how long you want your tail to be for your ribbon. Um, so I'm going to do my tail at 12 inches. Um, so you just pick your 12 inch mark, and I don't think I have a whole lot of this left. Um, I think I've used most of it in another wreath that I've done. Um, but what you want to do is you're going to take this and you're going to slide it down in here. And this side is going to stay the right way up. And you're going to twist this side. So you're going to twist it to be the opposite of your, your tail. And then you're just going to kind of take this and you're going to fold it over. So you're going to make uh, kind of make a loop. And, you know, if you want your loop a certain length, so like I can put this on five. And if I wanted my loop at five inches, I would just bring it out to the end of my glass. Um, but I don't want mine that big. Um, so I'm gonna do mine uh, from five to three. So it's like a two inch. So you're gonna push this down in here. Actually, actually it's seven to, let's see. So it's actually uh, five inches like that. And as you do the other side, you're gonna twist this upside down again. Um, so that your um, ribbon is in there wrong and you're going to do the same thing um, and you're going to measure like I put my measure thing on um, five so I want my ribbon to go out to ten okay and then I'm going to turn it after I get it in there I'm going to squish it and then turn it um, so it does that so now I'm going to do this side a little bit shorter than the last and I'm gonna put it in there a little shorter, as you can see, like it's two different lengths. And then I'm gonna turn it on the other side. And I'm gonna do that again and make it shorter than the last one. And then I'm gonna put it in here. Now, because I don't have a lot left, I'm just gonna do these two. And then um, I'll cut this even with the other one for right now. Okay, and then my next one is going to be its little Easter eggs. Got this from Dollar Tree. This this ribbon came from Walmart. Um, usually, I'll go to Walmart and catch it like um, when it's on sale after the holiday, and then I kind of just start a tote per holiday. Um, and so right now, I've got like um, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Fall, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, St. Patrick's, and Easter. So I have nine totes that, well, nine different holidays. Um, I have way more totes than that. I think I have 20 totes. But I just put my stuff in there, and um, I just save it for next year. 
So I'm gonna do this this um, end a little bit shorter than the other one. And then of course I'm gonna flip it because it is directional ribbon, which means it's not the same on both sides. So I'm gonna make sure that this, this one is the same size as the, the last one I did. And then I'm gonna spin my ribbon around. And um, then I'm gonna do it again. And I'm probably only gonna put one on here and then I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter than my last ribbon. Um, always remember, if you cut your ribbon too long, you can always cut it off to what you need. But if you cut it too short, you can't fix it. So you have to start over. So here is another ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And it has little mini eggs on it. So here we have the big eggs. And um, so I'm going to do one of the mini egg, and I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter, I don't know if you can see, a little bit shorter than this. Um, and I'm gonna, of course it's non, it's directional. Let me see, yeah, it's directional, which means one side's different than the, the main side. So you have to spin it. And then I'm gonna make that center one littler uh, my, my last set of bow, I'm gonna make it smaller. And of course, when you come over, you wanna twist it to the back facing up and you wanna do it again. And then instead of pulling it this time to turn it, you leave it like it is and you pull it down to match your other ribbon. So then, I always forget to do this part, but you can take a bigger zip tie and if you see, it's got a hole that goes all the way through. And so it goes through one side. You have to pull it up a little bit if you don't put it in until after. And you put it through one side and bring it up. Make sure your ribbon stays down in there. And then you take your zip tie and you wanna put it in there until it clicks and then pull it. As you bring the, the bow up, you wanna pull it. So now you have all this bow. And of course you're gonna wanna move your zip tie head to the back of your bow. Um, and it's it's fixable, so if you smash anything, it's okay. Um, and then, of course, we're gonna cut our zip tie off. Let me move this. Okay, so now you have your bow, and of course, everything's going every way. So you wanna make sure that all of your, um, your tails are coming the right way, so you wanna adjust that. You can be a little rough with it, it's not gonna hurt it. Um, and you wanna make sure that your your tails are coming down because some of them will go to the back um, because the first piece that put on was a tail. So you wanna make sure it's turned the right way. Okay, and so we're gonna go along a short, along a short, and then we're gonna let these little egg ones hang down right in the middle. Um, you can usually just kind of take a pair of scissors. You can do it with your finger too and do this and it kind of makes it a little curly. So then, once you get that a little bit fixed to where it's supposed to go, you're gonna start at the back and you're gonna fluff your ribbon. So we want one at the top and one at the bottom of the same color. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna pull them apart and then we're just gonna fluff them out. And we're gonna do the same thing. Um, we got one at the top, one at the bottom, um, and you're gonna pull it open like this. So. There's your second bow. So now you've got to go to this one and you're going to want to leave your egg in the middle uh, because you put the truck one up and one down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull these mini eggs like directional up and down. And then we're just going to flip them up a little bit to where they flare out. And then um, you have your bow. Let me see. Well, this one's done what it wanted to do. Okay. I done lost it. Okay, there we go. So it's not hard to fix. Like if something messes up, you can go in and adjust it. And then, you know, if your ribbons um, get smashed or whatever, you can always go back in and readjust them, put them where they need to be. Um, so it kind of looks like this little egg thing is kind of a centerpiece um, when you're done. So you've got this little bow. And what you wanna do is you got two options. I'm gonna show you um, on the smaller bow, I'm just cutting it at an angle in a diagonal. And it, you know, it's, it's 
like this. And then the other one I would do the opposite way um, so it faces out. And then this one, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to, let me move it back to where you can see it. I'm just going to cut it at an angle from corner diagonal to another one. Same thing on this one, except I'm doing it the opposite way. Okay, so there's those two ribbon tails. Now on these ribbon tails, I'm gonna fold them in half and you wanna cut from the bottom up at a diagonal. So that's gonna give you your dovetails. Um, and hold on, let me cut this one and then I'll show you. So you cut them from the bottom up and you end up with dovetails. Let me show you. So, you know, you've got these that's cut that way, and then you have these ones that are cut this way. That's called a dovetail. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna place my ribbon, but I'm not done with my wreath. I will post a picture when I'm done. I really wished I had finished cutting my mesh so I could show you all of it, but I will be ready the next video. Um, but so I'm going to add a whole nother row of these pink and white petals. I'm done with the outside with my leaves and I'm going to add another row of the, um, lolly petals, uh, in the pink and white. And then, um, when I'm done, I've got the gnome that's going to go in the middle that says happy mother's day, uh, or it may say happy Easter. I'm not sure yet. Um, so anyways, and if you hear me giggle every time I say happy Easter, it's an inside joke between me and my kids and my brother that passed away. Um, like, we had the best fun. Like, my brother and I, um, we fought like cats and dogs, but um, we were seriously, we were all close. My baby brother, my big brother, all of us were real close. So, what I'll do is after I finish this next row of these pink and white um, things, I will add this ribbon um, to the top. And uh, then I'll, you know, I'll have this filled in and then I'm gonna put my gnome in here. Um, so I don't like the way this does this cause I can't see and I know I'm gonna knock my iPad off. Anyways, so this is, you know, you got it here, um, but I gotta do one more layer of this pink and white and then this is gonna go in the middle. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, um, let me see if I can get this out of here. So, let me turn it around. I don't want my face in there. It's too close. Um, so, oh, there we go. Okay. So, I don't know. Okay. I'm not real good at this. So, here is some of my wreaths that I've done. I don't know if I can zoom out or not. Like, can you? I don't know. I probably need one of my kids here. But anyway, so I've got... The cross, I've got that one. I've got, you know, some of them are different holidays. Uh, I made this one a couple days ago. Um, this one is a, a, a set of wings. Um, this is my Mother's Day wreath. And my daughter messaged me and was like, hey, Mom, that looks like it's really dark. But it's not. It's the lighting in my sewing room. So, actually, it's pink. It's like a peach and a green and a tan. Um, so, I have a lot of wreaths that I've already made. Ooh, let's not look over there. So that's just a mess. And this is all my mesh. Um, and I got more wreaths on this side. There is my daisy um, with my butterfly. And there's my family is everything. Here's one that says, um, follow the bunny. He has chocolate. Um, this, I gotta, I wanna redo this multicolored one because I want a different center. Um, but there is my uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, there's are my horses that my dad got me a um, long time ago. I've got plenty of pool noodles. But here's what I was telling you guys about the ribbon. Um, I put up the, um, well, my husband did, the curtain rods. And then put my ribbon in them so that I could see all of my ribbon. Um, so, but I got a lot of wreath frames right here. Like I have the shamrock and the um, breast cancer awareness and the cross and the star and the football um, quite a bit of them. I have quite a bit of, these are all my totes. Like I said, they're marked, um, for the holidays. This is my Easter collection so far, but you know, but anyways, I just want to say thanks for watching me. I appreciate it. I will do my very, very best, um, uh, to post another video tomorrow. And, um, hopefully I will have everything pre-made, um, as far as like my mesh already cut. 
and that way we can actually do it. But this gives you time to go to Dollar Tree tomorrow, um, get you some mesh, um, get you some ribbon, um, and did I have, oh, those little um, carrots that I had on the wall, those are little bags, and I just stuffed them with stuffing, and then added them to a wreath, so, I mean, you can use almost anything, like, I got these from Hobby Lobby, you can use, um, I called them pipe stems, but they call them Chanel, so I don't know what the difference is, but anyways, so I have all of that, and then, you know, I have a glue gun, you can get glue gun for like three a dollar at Dollar Tree or three bucks at any of the craft stores. And then, like I said, if you want this, if you're going to be doing a few wreaths, you may want to get a wood burner. Um, I think it's like twelve or thirteen dollars at Walmart. Um, so, but anyways, you just want to, um, you know, get you if you want, just grab um, some Dollar Tree mesh. And tomorrow, uh, while my kids at school and my husband is asleep tomorrow morning I will do a video um, and we will do it with Dollar Tree mesh everything from the Dollar Tree that way um, doesn't matter the color that you get or whatever ribbon you get um, you can follow along and they have the round wreath forms the one in Madison does I know I was there yesterday and they have um, I think the round the bicycle spoked the square I didn't see any crosses um, but it's okay. Um, you just get whatever you want to, um, to do and, um, I will go live and I'll have my stuff pre-cut and that way if you have any questions, um, maybe I can get my mom to be on and if you have any questions, maybe she can kind of be a mediator, uh, as far as answering questions. She ain't going to be on camera. You can forget that. That ain't happening in this lifetime. Um, she don't do cameras or pictures or whatever, so... Um, but anyways, so if you want, go to Dollar Tree tomorrow in, in the morning, grab whatever it is you need, and we will do a video tomorrow. Um, you can also go to SincereCreation.com and uh, subscribe, and what it is is you're just subscribing to an email, and if I go to go live, it'll send you a notification, um, and if you don't care, like and share my page, um, because I would like to reach more people um, just to help them because I kind of just watch YouTube and learn myself. But I picked up a lot of things on my own. Um, and I really enjoy it. Like, I, I really enjoy doing this. And I wouldn't care. I mean, my husband may care. But I wouldn't care if um, I didn't sell any of my wreaths. Um, I just like doing it. Um, it does help when I go to buy, like, spend his check on Michael's and Hobby Lobby. He hates Hobby Lobby. Just saying. <laughs> But anyways, so if you don't mind, um, you know, like and share and follow me. Um, I have a Facebook page. It's SincereCreations.com. SincereCreation.com is my uh, website. And then on Facebook, it's Sincere Creations. There's a link underneath my, uh, underneath my Facebook page. Um, my number, my cell phone number is on there. Uh, you can private message me. Um, I'll be more than glad to help. Like I said, um, I just love doing this. And um, so I'm just going to say good night and God bless. Hope you guys have a great day. And I hope to see all of you tomorrow. Thank you for um, joining me. I sure appreciate it. You guys have a good night and bye.